Good morning, everyone. Um, welcome to the official kickoff to the partnership plan between Pan American Benefit Solutions, Hub International, and the Louisiana Restaurant Association, the Hospitality Healthcare Plan. This is something that we have been working on with Pan Am and Hub for the better part of this year. Um, but the conversations and the um, how this would work really started a couple of years ago. This is something that our president and CEO, Stan Harris, has um, been working on for a number of years to bring this type of product um, for healthcare on demand for LRA members in a um, in a format that is easy for the employer and also easy for the employee. So today I'm joined by Lynn Schramm, and Lynn has worked with us for a long time. Um, she's the Regional Sales Vice President for Pan American Benefit Solutions, and we recently saw her in person at the LRA showcase at the beginning of the month. Welcome, Lynn. Thank you. And we're also joined by Maria Taravella, who's the Voluntary Benefit Practice Leader from Hub International. Good morning, Maria. Good morning. So without any further delay, I'm going to turn it over to Lynn and Lynn is going to walk us through how the program is uh, set up, formed, how you find out more information. And then Maria is going to talk to us a little bit about the enrollment process. So without further delay, Lynn, I'm going to turn it over to you. Great. Thank you so much, Wendy, and welcome, everybody. I really appreciate your time this morning. I know how valuable that is. Um, we are uh, very excited to be rolling out this hospitality health care plan um, to all the members of the Louisiana Association in, the, in Louisiana. And this is available to all of your employees. Um, so we're going to, uh, Wendy hit a little bit on our partnership that we have between LRA and Hub and Pan American. We really uh, want to set the stage of, you know, some of the challenges that uh, you may be facing and how this plan can help you, particularly trying to get workers uh, back uh, into uh, your businesses. I know that's been, um, it's been a long 17, 18 months for all of us. So um, we see this as, as being a, a very valuable benefit to you. We'll go over some of the plan highlights. Uh, Maria's gonna talk about um, Hub's enrollment call center and, and the really critical role that they're gonna play in helping you. Um, and then we'll talk about the next steps and some of the things that you can do to, to um, promote this to your employees. Uh, it's very, very simple. So as Wendy mentioned, you know, this is a partnership with LRA and Hub International. Uh, Hub is uh, based, um, they're, they're one of the largest uh, insurance, carry, insurance agencies in the United States, but they're actually based in Metairie, Louisiana, and Maria will talk a little bit more about that. Uh, Pan American, for those of you uh, who may not be familiar with us, you know, we are based in New Orleans, right there at Portress in St. Charles, and we've been in business for over 100 years. Um, and very excited to be wor working with Wendy and Stan and the entire LRA team. This particular healthcare plan is was specifically designed for the hospitality industry. Uh, Pan American, you know, uh, for over 15 years, I've been working with a lot of businesses, restaurants, hotels, um, a lot of businesses that have a high concentration of hourly employees. So this this we really took into account some of the uh, some of your needs. And we've heard loud and clear what some of your employees are asking for as well. <clears throat> so this is a real innovative hiring and retention tool for you. This is going to provide direct access to affordable quality medical care for your employees. Um, HHP, that's what we refer to as our hospitality health care plan, 
Um, this is not major medical insurance. Um, however, this provides a valuable health care benefit for your employees. So I'll go into a lot of the details about that here in just a minute. So before the pandemic hit, uh, we all kind of knew what the cost of turnover was. Um, it's completely changed. I don't even know what the figures are right now over the last 18 months, but um, I, I can just say it hasn't improved. <laughs> So, you know, replacing a one hourly employee, you know, can be almost as high as $6,000. Um, and, you know, back in 2017, the um, United States Bureau of Labor Statistics, and this, is, this number has really stayed pretty consistent. Um, the restaurant and service sector industry has one of the highest turnover rates uh, that sits at around 73%. And just replacing an entry-level position sometimes can cost you as an employer up to 40% of an employee's salary. So those were already challenges uh, pre-pandemic. Um, you know, everybody's got, we've got small employers, we've got large employers that are members of LRA, and we took into account with that. And, you know, right now, particularly the larger employers, um, you may be off, you're likely offering a healthcare plan today because the Affordable Care Act uh, uh, forced you to do that. And many businesses, particularly the smaller ones, may want to offer health insurance, but the premiums may be too high for you to be able to do that. Um, one of the things that's happened over the years is, is as premiums have gone up, businesses have opted to increase deductibles on their plan, or they have shifted the cost over to their employees. So they've got to pay some more. And by doing that, um, if you think about, you know, your employment, you may have a um, quite a few employees right now, even if you're offering health insurance that may be waiving coverage. And what we've seen over the years is the reason that most people are waiving coverages, um, it's usually that hourly employee, sometimes those junior supervisors that we see it the most, but it's it's the financial barriers that's causing them to waive that coverage. It's either the you know deductible is way too high on the plan that can't afford that, or even the cost share that you know uh, you're still making it affordable for them. They just cannot afford those premiums. And so the HHP, the healthcare plan that we've designed, is going to really help you retain and attract new employees um, because our plans are so much more affordable. One of the key things, a couple of key things with the plan is there's no deductible on our plan. I mentioned that's, that's a barrier right now as to why people are waiving it. We don't have a deductible on, on our plan, so it kind of takes that away. Um, all the plans are guaranteed issue, and what that means is during open enrollment, we're not going to ask any medical questions. There's no pre-existing condition uh, restriction on our plan. Um, there's, we will accept uh, enrollment, you know, um, right when they call in, there'll be no um, medical or health questions. And the workers can choose from three different health plans that we've designed um, based upon what their, what their individual or family needs are. They can sign up their dependents. And we also have optional dental vision that they can elect. This, the hospitality healthcare plan is very easy for workers to see a doctor or a specialist. Um, and this is particularly important because this is something that a lot of these workers um, don't have the luxury of, of having that care because most of them don't have health insurance. All right. And so this particular plan is going to give them really three simple ways to see a doctor. Plus, we have some additional benefits built into the plan that pays a fixed dollar amount for additional medical services like hospitalization, surgicals, um, ICU visits, um, prescription, um, and so on. So what are the advantages for you as an LRA member? Um, well, first of all, you have to be a member of the Louisiana Restaurant Association to be for you to even offer this plan. So um, that's you have an advantage right up from other businesses in Louisiana. Um, it's a great hiring or retention tool. There is no employer contribution that's required. So for, for, for members out there that haven't been able to afford to offer health insurance, you can now offer that and there's no contributions. This, this will be 100% paid by the employee. The nice thing with that is we kept the administration very, very simple. So there's no payroll deduction that you as the employer 
have to do. The employee is going to actually be able to pay for their monthly premiums by an automatic withdrawal from their checking account or putting it on a credit card. So we, we, we uh, took the administration, um, made that very simple for you. There's no minimum participation required. Um, this has always been a struggle, particularly if you have, let's say you're an employer right now and you're offering a health plan and you only have one or two people enrolling on that plan, that may be causing your premiums to go up because the participation is so low. Well, we don't have a minimum participation on this. So, it, so if you just have one employee that signs up for this plan, there's no concerns uh, for you. There's nothing that you have to be to meet. There's no waiting period for your active employees. So let's say that you have some folks that may be in a, a measurement period, for example. Um, they're variable hours. And so you may be offering another plan right now, but you have a lot of people in that measurement period. This is a really good option to offer those employees because they can instantly get insurance until they're eligible for that other plan. And there's no paperwork that you have to be worried about. The only thing that we're going to be asking you to do, and I'll share this with you at the very end, is you just need to let Pan American know that you want to offer this to your employees. There's really no risk on your behalf. And once we are notified of that, we will send you all the enrollment information. You just need to provide that to your employees. It's that simple. And then your employees are going to call Hub and they're going to handle the enrollment. They'll set up the payment. Um, and, and really, that's all you need to do. We just need your participation in making that available to your employees. The advantages for your workers, this could be offered to your W-2 employees or if you have 1099 contract workers that are working for you. Um, as I mentioned, it's guaranteed to issue. There's no medical or health questions. Um, we have all three plans um, are very affordable. Um, so the employee can pick, you know, which choice of coverage that they want for themselves or their family. There's no deductibles on the plan that they have to meet. Um, and then the worker is going to talk one on one with the hub counselors. Um, these are trained bilingual counselors that will assist your employees and help them understand their options. And then the employee will be able to select either a monthly draft from their checking account or a credit card payment, whichever works best for them. So there's three easy ways to see a doctor that I mentioned. And I've got Keith Kennington on the call as well. Um, he may jump in here and, and, and uh, um, stress a few uh, other benefits in here. And then at the very end, we'll answer you know, additional questions uh, for you, or you can put it in the chat mode. But the first thing is, let me give you an example. Let's say that Wendy um, signs up for the plan and couple months later, she thinks she's got a sinus infection, right? Upper respiratory infection. She's going to call that number on her, her ID card and it's going to go straight to the um, central scheduling department uh, when she when, when he calls that number and they're going to ask her what's going on. It's like calling the front desk of, of a doctor's office. Um, at that point, they're going to offer Wendy several options to see a, a talk to a physician. Um, the simplest way is a telehealth visit. That's available 24 hours a day, every day of the week. And they can have a licensed physician call Wendy back and do a diagnosis right over the phone or even do a virtual online visit. It, and the beauty of that too is that there's no consultation fee. It won't cost Wendy anything to have that over the phone. Very convenient. Um, or Wendy may say, you know what? I really wanna see it in, I wanna have an in-person visit and go to the doctor. Again, once you call that 1-800 number, we're going to schedule that appointment. Particularly if you don't have a primary care physician, they're going to schedule that um, direct primary care visit directly for Wendy. And the only thing she will be responsible for is that $10 office visit fee. Now, Wendy may need to see someone urgently. Maybe she have a bigger need. We do have urgent care uh, centers that are part of the healthcare to you direct primary care private network. And if they send her to an urgent care facility, that'll be $25 for that office visit fee. I can tell you right now, DePaul Community Health Centers um, is uh, in our network and can is very conveniently located here in the New Orleans area. 
The other thing is with the direct primary care, they can treat the 13 chronic uh, disease states. So for example, it's real critical. Someone may have diabetes, high blood pressure, um, and they may not be seeing a, a physician on a regular basis. Again, all that will be covered under that $10 office visit fee. So you can help your employees, you know, um, get assistance and so forth if they have one of those chronic diseases and, um, and maintain their, their health. The other thing is this also includes four annual physical lab tests, the most common, which would be, would be complete metabolic panel, a complete blood count, thyroid stimulating hormone, and a lipid panel. Um, that's all included annually, all four of those tests. And then the third way to see a doctor is we have our Panamed, Pan American's Panamed Limited Medical Benefits built in. And what this is going to provide the member is everything outside of direct primary care. So if they need to go see a specialist, if they've got a surgery they need to schedule, they end up in the hospital, the ICU, they, um, it covers hospitalization, I mean, I mentioned hospitalization, x-rays, MRIs, uh, let's say they're uh, pregnant and they need to get sonograms, all that will be covered under the Panamid plan. And we also have some accident coverage as well. Um, one important note is the Panamid plan, um, the HHP plan, this is not minimum essential coverage. So I get asked that question quite a bit. Um, however, you can offer this alongside an existing plan that's already meeting that. So if you're needing you know, if you have some concerns about that, feel free to reach out to me. I can certainly discuss that with you, you know, the different options. Um, as I mentioned, healthcare to you, you know, when we combine that uh, with our Panamed plan, it's actually going to give your employees access to over 695,000 providers nationwide. Keith, do you have anything else you want to add as far as healthcare to you? Well, thanks very much. Yeah, we're excited about this partnership. You know, what you've done for the uh, Louisiana Restaurant Association members is you've given them a very, very simple way to access care. Uh, that, that on their card, they'll simply have an 800 number to call um, and uh, our medical assistants answer the phone and they actually act as a concierge service and make the appointment for the member. Uh, generally, it's same day or next day or as you mentioned, Lynn, it can be uh, urgent care. We could send you directly to an urgent care. So it's really very, very simple uh, to get care through this plan. A single call to our 800 concierge scheduling line uh, will get them to wherever they need to go. Thank you so much, Keith. I appreciate that. Now, a couple of other things that's included in the benefit package and all three of these plans is we have prescription benefits built in. We have medical accident with um, accidental death and dismemberment. And those are for off the job accidents. Um, so it's going to the, um, the Panamet plan will always cover, um, uh, it, it will cover their benefits, but if they have any remaining charges, it'll cover up to either 2,500 or 5,000, depending upon which plan they're enrolled in uh, for any, any off, off, the, uh, off the job accidents. And that can be medical and dental expenses. We do have a national PPO network built into the Panamet portion. It's the First Health Network. It's a standing um, national network and very, very strong in Louisiana. Their discounts average about 30 to 40%. Uh, so, we really encourage people to go to an in-network provider as well. Um, global repatriation, if you've got folks that are traveling uh, more than 100 miles of their residence, this could be both domestically or international travel. What global repatriation does is in the event that someone passes away, they're, on, they're enrolled on our plan, it's gonna cover up to $20,000 to repatriate those remains back to their primary residence. Um, this is real key if you've got employees that may be um, working here that may be from another country, for example, and they may be uh, working at your place of business and something happens to them. Um, it can be very expensive to repatriate remains across state lines, but, but, but particularly across international boundaries as well. And then we have member advocacy to help negotiate claims. Um, as part of Pan American, we have advocates that can help that member. 
I mentioned dental vision is also an optional benefit. They can sign up for that standalone or they can add it to their medical plan as well. These are the rates. Uh, some of you may have already seen this, uh, but as I mentioned, you can, we've got three different health plans and we have a dental and vision uh, option as well. So if the employee signed up, for example, for plan one, the monthly rate is $94.43. There's no deductible on the plan. That comes out to as little as $3.10 a day for health coverage for an employee only to sign up. If they wanted to sign up their family on plan one uh, for $252 monthly, that equates to a little over $8 a day. So they're very affordable plans. And I mentioned they can add dental and vision to that or they can have the health by itself or dental by itself. Lots of different options for them. Maria, I'm gonna turn this over to you now so you can uh, kind of touch base on uh, uh, Hub Patrol. Thank you, Lynn. Good morning, everyone. Um, for in with Hutch role in this rollout is we're going to be taking care of the enrollments for your employees. Your employees will be able to call into our call center and speak one on one with with a, a counselor. The counselor is going to be well versed on all the products, and they are going to be able to. Um, help them make a decision. You know, any questions they may have in regards to it, they'll be able to walk them through that. They will also um, have bilingual capabilities. So if you have an employee who needs um, Spanish or any other language, we're able to help with that as well. So that that employee gets a full understanding and explanation of the product and what is available to them. Thank you, Lynn. So sorry about um, that. That's okay. That's okay. Um, can you bring it? Is, is, don't we have another slide? Yes, we do. Just a minute. Thank you. No worries. Technical difficulties. Um, so the employees will, again, meet with the counselor. The, the counselor will walk them through the enrollment. Um, we will we will be able to send that, give them the opportunity to give their credit card or bank account information over the phone if they don't wish to do that or they don't currently have it with them when they make the call. A, a, a link will be sent to them where they can go online and add that information themselves. So it's 100% taken care of by Hub. Nothing has to be done um, by you guys except let them know this is available and provide them with that enrollment information. So super, super easy. And um, we're very excited to be part of this. Hub is um, one, as Lynn mentioned, one of the largest brokerages, um, insurance brokerages in the country. In addition to employee benefits, we also handle commercial and personal lines. Um, we have over 13,000 plus employees and over 1 million clients around the globe. So we've been doing this for a very long time. We're excited to be partners in, in this program and, and hope you will enjoy it as well. Thank you, Maria, so much. Um, so I, I talked a little bit about Pan America and the other thing is we are a rated carrier. Um, and uh, to mention we've been around since 1911 um, Hub is the world's largest insurance broker, uh, one of those, and uh, we're very excited that they're going to be providing all the enrollment um, capabilities um, and working with your members. They'll be very pleased with that. And Healthcare to You is the nation's fastest growing direct primary care organization. Pan Americans worked with a number of regional players, and we've got an exclusive partnership with them um, nationwide. So, uh, it, you're going to be thrilled with the, the concierge services that your employees receive from them. So the most important thing I, I kind of hit on is, you know, this is a great product to help re retain employees that you have, those valuable employees and attract new ones. It provides very affordable, easy access to unlimited basic health care. And you'll, your employees will have convenient access to board certified physicians nationwide. Now, the, um, I mentioned there's, there, there is a role that we need your help with, and that is, is if you are interested in offering this to your employees, 
all we need you to do is let us know. And the simplest way is to go to this link at pabs.palac.com slash hospitality dash healthcare plans LRA. And Wendy, um, I think you had this, um, you've sent this out previously, but um, if you guys have a, a if you, you see this on the screen, if you have a phone, you want to take a picture of it, that's probably the easiest way. But uh, just to let you know, when you go to this website, it's going to, let me kind of show you what that looks like here. So it's going to take you to this page here, this landing page, and you will be able to just literally sign up right here. You can complete this form with your name, your email address, your phone number. Um, if you could provide your title and the business name um, and just submit that, that will actually come directly to me, to Pan American. And then we will send you enrollment information so that you can then offer this to your employees. As I mentioned, there's no risk on your behalf. And, and once, you've, once you've done that, we'll send you the enrollment information and you can provide that to your employees. The um, open enrollment actually starts next week. We, we split this up. We had a number of LRI members that participated in a focus group this past spring. So their open enrollment is going to start August the 23rd. And then the following Monday on August the 30th, is when open enrollment will be will be available to the rest of the LRA members in Louisiana. So make sure if you are interested in offering this that you go to that landing page um, and just send me your information and we will make sure we get enrollment information to you. Um, the open enrollment period ends on September the 24th and the effective date of coverage begins October 1st. So your employees will be able to start using their benefits October 1st. Um, if they don't enroll this fall, they'll have to wait until the next open enrollment period. And that will be in the spring of 2022 um, in the March, April timeframe. OK, and we're just going to have open enrollment twice a year. So this is a really good time to um, get your employees involved. Lynn, we have a question in the chat. What if the employee leaves the member company? Does the insurance cease or does it stay with that employee? Thank you, Wendy. That's an excellent question. So um, if the eligible employee, they have to be an act, they have to work for an active um, LRA member in Louisiana right now. But if they leave employment, they can keep the plan. We will verify eligibility just once a year. So um, if, if, you, if you're if you ABC company and you offer this to your employees this fall, we will send you the eligibility information of who signed up and you'll verify if those employees still work for you. But they can technically still keep the plan and pay for it if they leave. The only thing is we will not allow any new hires to enroll in the plan um, outside of open enrollment. So if you've got new hires that come on after um, September 24th, they'll have to wait till the next open enrollment in the spring for those new hires to enroll in the plan, except if they have a qualifying event, like they get married, divorced, have a baby, all of those are qualifying events um, and we, they will be able to enroll throughout the year, you know, with a QE. Lynn, can you, um, we're being asked to show the price plan again. Absolutely. Can you go back to yeah, I can certainly do that. Give me a second here. There you go. So, uh, yes, you know, you know, um, um, I mentioned this is not a major medical plan. It's not catastrophic coverage. So, for example, let's say that you uh, have a heart attack and you've got to have a heart surgery. It, it does have some hospitalization and surgical benefits in there. And when, you, when we send you the enrollment information, we will have details of what the plan looks like. Or you can reach out to me and I can send you those ahead of time if you just want to review those. Um, so it's not going to cover everything like a major medical plan will. Uh, however, these plans are really designed to cover 80 to 90 percent of your everyday health care needs. And, and you just think about you personally, your family and so forth. You know, how often do you end up in the hospital and have surgeries? 
versus how often do you go to the doctor and get prescriptions filled and get lab work done and x-rays and those sort of things on an annual basis. So it's, these are really, des, they were developed and designed specifically for common things you use. And that's why the price points, you see them so much more affordable than you would a full-blown traditional medical plan. Lynn, we have another question. Um, our company open enrollment is in December. If a current employee that has coverage with us wants to switch to your program, how does that work since the open enrollment periods don't match so that they don't go uncovered? Yeah, that's a very good question. They will, um, they, if that they're, they won't be able to sign up for this coverage, um, except during open enrollment. So, you know, if they don't sign up right now, they would have to wait till the spring. Um, they could, if they're on the existing plan that you're offering right now and they go through open enrollment in December, um, personally, I would, you know, if you're, if you have health insurance is available to you and, and you can afford it and take it. I would always strongly recommend people have health insurance. So I would stay on that plan if you can. Um, and then um, talk with your employer and so forth. If you want to switch over, that's totally, that's totally up to the individual. Now, if you have a qualifying event, let's say that you um, had health insurance, even through, through your spouse and you lost coverage and maybe your spouse no longer works there. Um, or you um, like a, you had a some uh, event in in with your status and so forth. You like I said, you adopted a child or you got married or something like that. You could then sign up throughout the year. And Lynn, we have another question: Is there a link to search if someone's preferred doctor is in your network? Yes, so um, we have, I'm going to let Keith talk about the direct primary care, um, but if you're using the Panamed benefits, there is a link, um, there's information that will be on your ID card. It also is in the benefit plan summary where you can uh, look up providers. You just, you literally can put in your zip code and you can search on a, you know, a 5, 10, 15 mile radius, for example. Uh, but there's also a phone number too. You can call and we can assist you in providing a provider. Um, Keith, you want to talk a little bit about the direct primary care um, physicians and the urgent care centers? Sure, of course. Um, for us, since we are a medical concierge service, we contract directly with a uh, smaller network of physicians. Uh, we guarantee access, but we do not publish a PPO directory. Uh, because of the way that we work on a capitated basis. So for us, as a concierge type service, they simply call the 800 number. If they've got a preferred doctor, they're, they're welcome to ask if that physician is in our uh, contracted physician network. Uh, if not, uh, we will make an appointment for the employee. We actually call our physician partner, make the appointment, and call the employee back and let them know, well, you've got an appointment this afternoon at three uh, with Dr. Vidro and uh, show up at, with your $10 and you'll be seen. So uh, that has a number of advantages because while, as Lynn mentioned, most people don't really have a, a physician. They, they kind of go where they need to go, when they need to go. And for us, we, we're making that appointment for them same day, next day, uh, without them having to go online, thumb through a PPO directory. Uh, and the visit fees are, are generally uh, at 10 for, uh, for a uh, PCP visit or zero for a tele uh, visit or 25 for urgent care. Those uh, visit fees are lower uh, generally than most of the copays that they're used to paying. Or I have another question. Are women's annual wellness visits covered? Not, we have a question, not sure if that's the same thing as an annual. Yes, uh, for the direct primary care, the well woman visit is covered. Uh, the only thing that I'll need to know is the reading of the pap smear is not included. That's a, that's a separate um, fee that they would pay, or it could be paid under the, I don't know if it's paid under the Panamed portion or not, but the well woman exam is considered covered 
uh, under the uh, direct primary care portion. Yeah, and in, in addition to um, wellness visits, um, there is a wellness benefit built into the Panamid plan, depending upon the, the plan that they select. Um, it could pay anywhere from $75 towards a wellness visit uh, all the way up to, give me a second here and I'm going to tell you, um, all the way up to $150 uh, towards that. So depending upon what type of plan. So that could be, you know, you may have a wellness exam and let's say you have to go do a cancer screening that would fall in there. Or if you needed a mammogram that falls under the wellness uh, visit as well. Good questions. Okay, we have another question. Uh, can the employee purchase dental and vision standalone? Can the employer choose to offer dental and vision as a standalone? So the, so the employee, yes, they can elect dental and vision standalone. They can elect the health plan standalone, or they can choose the health plan with dental and vision together, okay? The most important thing though, <coughs> is if they sign up their spouse or their kids on the plan and they elect the health plan and dental vision, they have to have the same coverage level. So for example, if they elect um, employee plus spouse coverage on the health plan and they want dental and vision, they would get employee and spouse coverage on dental as well, okay? Same thing if they elected family coverage on one, they would have family on the other, okay? And then I think the second part of your question is, can the employer choose to offer dental vision as standalone? Well, actually the employer is making this plan available to the employees. The plan sponsor, just so you know, is the Louisiana Restaurant Association. It's not the individual business. Um, it is a group policy, but the association is actually holding that policy. And that's why there's no minimum participation requirements on your part, because all the participation has to do with, with who all enrolls through the association. If you have any other questions, you can put them in the Q&A box. These are great questions. Well, Wendy, and um, if, if you have any additional questions, you can certainly pass those on to Wendy, or if you'll go back to that landing page, as I mentioned, we can, um, I'll make sure that you can just submit that and I'll reach out to you and answer any of your questions that you have. Again, this is the landing page. Um, and Wendy, if, um, I think that was part of your invite, but uh, if if we need to, uh, can we send this landing page back out to all your members? Yeah, we're actually sending an email later today um, about the plan and the open enrollment. And we're going to include a copy of uh, a recording of this webinar, and we'll also include this information um, on this slide. Excellent. Thank you so much. Um, one other thing too, <clears throat> this is my contact information. If you want to just call me directly or shoot me an email, I'd be more than happy to assist you in answering any of your questions too. So thank you very much for your time. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Wendy, too, for setting this up. Um, again, if you guys need any, um, if you have any questions or need any additional information, you can always email us at communications at lra.org or you can contact Lynn directly. I want to thank Maria with Hub and Keith with Healthcare to You and of course Lynn uh, for going through this information uh, with us this morning and we hope that you guys will take a serious look at this and um, offer it uh, to your employees and uh, hopefully we can uh, have a good group plan that uh, helps our employees uh, get the care that they need. Not seeing any more questions, comments. 
with that, we'll give you back your, uh, your morning and thank you again for attending. Thank you.